Here is an awesome scripture, an awesome thought for the day. It says in Colossians 3 verse 3, your life is now hidden with Christ in God. My life as a believer is hidden. Isn't it great to be able to hide somewhere? When life's too much, when everything's against you, you just want to hide under the covers, in the house, away somewhere on a holiday. But actually, Jesus goes a whole lot better than that. Our life is hidden, the Bible says, in Christ, in God. We're doubly hidden. We're in him and he's in him. Our life is hidden in Christ, in God. We are so amazingly saved and safe when we've put our trust in Jesus Christ, when we've been born again and we're alive to God. We're dead to sin and we're free from this world and we're hidden with him. You know, in the Old Testament, in the story of the Passover, the people were hidden in the houses. The judgment of God, the righteous judgment of God was coming on this world, but they were safe. Why? They were hidden in a house that was covered with blood. There was blood on the door. The blood of the lamb was over the door and round the door. So no evil and judgment could enter that house. They were hidden. They weren't sinless. They were just hidden. They weren't perfect people, not by a long way, but they were saved because they were behind the blood, hidden in the house. What a fantastic picture. It was the same with Noah's Ark. In the days of Noah's Ark, God decided to judge the world and wipe out the world from evil. But a group of people were hidden. Noah and his family went into the ark, into the boat, the box, and they were hidden by God. It says in that story that the Lord shut the door behind them. What a wonderful picture of our salvation. We can't save ourselves. We can only come to Jesus, who is that house, who is that ark, who is that hiding place. And when we come to him, he brings us in. The Lord shuts the door behind us. That is properly shut. And it says he seals the door. The door was sealed with pitch. Inside and outside the ark, the door was sealed with pitch. And that old Hebrew word for pitch has a lot of root meanings. And one of the meanings is atonement. It's the atoning blood of Jesus that seals the judgment out of our life and that seals us in to Jesus Christ. You may feel exposed today, but the truth is your life is hidden with Christ, in Christ, in God. You couldn't be in a safer place. Thank the Lord. The safest place to be when the judgment of this world begins is in God, <laughs> in Him, in Christ. That's the place to hide. Let's hide in Him today. Lord, we thank you that you're our refuge, you're our protection, you are our hiding place, the Bible says. And we thank you that our life has been hidden with Christ in God. Our sins can't find us. The devil can't find us. Accusing fingers can't find us because we've been saved by your mercy. We've been welcomed into the house. We've been hidden in the ark. We've been sealed in and you shut the door behind us. Lord, thank you for this beautiful thought today that we're hidden in Christ, in God. Amen.